All right, what's up, class? Um, so for this week, I decided to do the um, third activity for the sensation and perception week. And this was spending like 30 minutes observing, but, the, but without using your ears um, and relying on your other senses like sight, smell, and touch. And um, I thought it was I thought it was a pretty interesting observation. It was to, for me, it was just barely long enough to get me to realize how much I rely on my sense of hearing or like any of the other senses, you know, like we go, I think oftentimes we really get caught up in the daily routines and the busyness of life. But I think it was good to, to take a minute and kind of realize what I would like, what I would do without my hearing, what would life be like, you know, and it's kind of, it's kind of interesting how much we do rely on them without really thinking about it. It's kind of like become like a simple thing to us. Like, well, obviously I can hear, you know, but not obviously not everybody's that lucky. Not everybody's born with all their senses, but um, it kind of just made me grateful and re- reminded me that I am grateful that I can't hear. Um, so I did a couple things. I came and sat down on the couch and I tried to watch a TV show. I turned off the subtitles just so I could have, have that effect of not really knowing what's going on. I picked, I, I picked a show or an episode I hadn't seen before, and I, I'm i realizing now how much dialogue there are in shows, and if you can't hear it, you don't know what's going on. I just I sat there just like... <laughs> I wish I knew what they were talking about, but um, it's kind of just funny how we just take that for granted. Like we're just we're just listening things and listening to things, and it's it just instantly registers in our brain what they what's being said, and we take that for granted. It's a really neat thing what our senses do and how they kind of set us up and they enable us to interact with those with people around us and with the life around us. And there's there's so much that we are able to do because of our senses and if our senses, if we didn't, obviously it, it would be so much harder if you didn't have them. And there are people who live like that and, you know, props to them for, for doing that and for finding a way to make it work. You know, um, it just reminded me that I'm grateful for it. I, and it also made me aware of my other senses. You know, I was obviously paying attention to a lot more to the TV show of what I was looking at, you know, like I was kind of trying to walk, pick up context clues or what was in the scenes so that I could kind of get some sort of hint of, as to what they were talking about or what would be going on, you know. But obviously, they're all really important. All the senses coming together, it's, it matters a lot of how um, how they come together and kind of create a picture of what's going on around us and how they kind of set us aware of what, what we're doing right now or where we're at. And, um, so after that, I went over and I did the dishes. And um, again, I was a little bit more aware. I was extra aware of how dirty the dishes were before I made, before I put them in the dishwasher. I had to make sure that they were, they were all the way clean. I, you know, I feel like sometimes, because just because I was focused on my site and I was thinking about, it, you know, sometimes we do dishes and we're listening to music or watching or like there's a show going on in the background or we're talking to somebody or whatever. We can be really distracted. And I, I don't know about you guys, if this is a problem for you guys, it's a problem for me that I'm just doing stuff too fast and I go and I, my dishes aren't clean because I didn't clean them all the way, you know? So I thought I was just extra um, particular about that, making sure they were clean. Also, different things like the the food temp or the the temperature of the water. I was like, wow, that's freezing cold. And I just I you know I was just extra aware of it, and I just had to you know turn it up. Or how there was like the food on the dishes, you know, it kind of it bugged me a little bit extra because I was focused on it. You know, um, here's another funny part too. This made me laugh because um, I don't know. I probably haven't swept like in a week or so, and there's just this you know extra food or whatever on the ground like rice or whatever that I had gone all all day through and all last week through you know but I didn't really I didn't realize that it was there because I don't know I was really focused on it I was just getting caught up in the busyness of life and I didn't really take a time to realize oh I'm stepping on food I'm gonna I need to go pick I need to go sweep that up you know so I was just I thought it was funny how it took me taking away my hearing for 30 minutes to realize, oh my gosh, you gotta go sweep the floor. And then as I'm walking out, I realize, oh my gosh, not I gotta vacuum now because I'm extra aware of this stuff on the ground too. And obviously, vacuum was vacuuming wasn't as satisfying because um, I didn't obviously, you know, like when you when you vacuum and you you go over something that you're picking up and the vacuum sucks it up and it's just it's satisfying to, to clean your floors up a little bit. But I just it kind of made me laugh to realize how much I didn't realize was was dirty in my house and needed to be cleaned you know so I I it was it was weird though like vacuuming and doing dishes like you're looking at the water and you can't hear it because you know I have, you have earplugs in but I was trying to pretend like what if I didn't have the earplugs in you know what would my other senses do to 
try to help me set up what was going on around me. You know, that's what that's what sight's for. That's what smelling's for. That's what tasting and touching is for. It's just to kind of set you up and make to make you aware of what's going on around you. And I thought it was I thought it was super interesting. Um, kind of just having that thirty minute period of time to really reflect on this. On this. Um, let's see some of the questions that she asked. Um. It was it was interesting. I, obviously, I was able because I wasn't like doing much. I was just cleaning around my house. So I was still able to figure out what was going on on around me. But it is different. It's different when you don't have your hearing because it's just it's kind of a big deal. Like things sounds happen that you most some of the time you don't have any control over, and it just registers in your brain that that's a sound like, because you heard it. But what happens if you can't hear? It? What what are you gonna what what do you do then? You know, your your senses you just extra your other senses just become extra aware and try to set, try to, you know, make you aware of what's going on in or like what's going on around your world, you know? Um, so I thought that was pretty cool, but, um, yeah, so I was going to ask, so obviously for me, I take my senses for granted, but do you guys take your senses for granted? And if you do, what is the one that you feel like you take the most, like granted of the most, take for granted the most? if that makes any sense. But yeah, it was, it was a good observation, but thanks for watching.